So the odds, entering last weekend, Arsenal with the title favourite at minus 140, but following their draw at Anfield seven days ago, things flipped in favour of Manchester City heading into this weekend. And now, well, Pep Guardiola's men are even heavier favourites at minus 225. Four points back with the game in hand and a meeting with Arsenal ten days away. So, Robbie Earle, the title race, how are you looking at it now? The, the advantage has probably been handed to Manchester City based on, on the re result we saw today. Um, it wasn't just the, the, the draw, the manner of the draw, what effect that has on the group. We'll only really see when we see them next time out. I think they're home to Southampton on Friday. Uh, Bukayo Saka has got to get over a big moment for him and still continues to be the player that's got 12 goals, 10 assists and been outstanding. And just to clear the point up, Rebecca, where, you know, I said the, the pivotal point in the game for me was, was about the penalty kick and I know must have argued about Saka. To, the focus isn't on who took the kick and who missed, whether it's Rob Holding or Bukayo Saka. The fact is they had the opportunity to go 3-1 up and at that point, as Mikel Arteta says, I think it's a different game. I think they win the three points. So the mentality to get over that disappointment is going to be now the big test for Arsenal. So my question is, based on the evidence of <clears> this team <throat> this season, how much faith do you have in their mentality to bounce back? Um... Difficult. That, that's really a body blow today. You know, I think at Anfield, you can say, well, that's a, there's a difficult second half. Liverpool were full throttle. It was difficult to stop them. Today was a little different. I think you did see the disappointment in his interview there. And I think, to be fair, he says everything that I agree with. They lost the way of controlling the ball, maybe keep attacking, which brings the other team into it. Um, I, I still go back to Arsenal's... Well, it's twofold. If they don't keep the ball well, then they're going to have to defend more. And they haven't got their best back four right now. And both goals they conceded were very, very poor goals. They go to um, Manchester City. Mm. They can't now lose that game. If they draw, get a point out of that game, then I think if City win their game in hand, they'll still be a point ahead. So we could have a really exciting end. If Man City win that, then most people are going to say that that's, that's probably too much for them to recover from. But it's not doom and gloom yet, if they can go there with the mentality of, we can't lose this match, they're still right what in if, it. What if they go there and win as well, though? Yeah. Wouldn't that change the optics and the narrative? Right now, it feels like it's, it, it's gone in City's way. But they go to the Etihad and win, which is possible, Rebecca, if they play at their very best, all of a sudden it, it would start to feel it, different it, in the camp. It does come back to your question, though. What's their mentality like mm. now? How are they going yeah, yeah. to respond? Can they get back? I don't think back? we know, Rob, do we? That's the problem. With Manchester City, they've, they, we've had body, body of evidence to say how yeah. they've reacted. So and you we see don't know now, with this, this with the group it. and with the manager. I'd yeah. have to say the manager looks like he's in the position where he, he, he's going to handle it in the right way. Well, that's interesting, because if you talk to Arsenal fans right now and you look at social media, they're doom and gloom. They are doom and gloom. So Arteta has to protect his players from that doom and gloom, doesn't he, Rob? That yeah, can't infiltrate yeah. the dressing yeah, room. Yeah, this, this, is, this is great now. And, and talk about learning for... By the way, for learning for the squad, the young mm. players and the manager to yeah. go through this now. Mm. And if they don't win the title, my goodness, they're going to grow from this experience. But back to the question, yeah, the manager now has got to try and... Re reprogram the brain. Let let's get back to what we were a few weeks ago where we could play football throughout the game and dominate and play lovely stuff. Um, that's, that's a disappointing thing, that that mentality of keep going forward, as he said it, dropped off a little bit and they were a little bit casual and a little bit protective, which was a, was a mistake today. But also the problem with the strength and depth. Yeah. If they don't win the title, I mean, you look yeah. at City, if they have a few injuries, they Correct, bring people in who are of the same level good, pretty yeah. much. Mm, yeah. Is the drop-off for Arsenal not yeah. good enough that, and that's that, what they need to do? That was always going to be the case and, and they've got to address that in, in the summer, Rebecca, but it's probably the biggest week in Mikel Arteta's managerial career this week. How, we, how this group go from here. Southampton, Manchester City, and then the rest of the games. They've got a tricky one at Newcastle. I think they've got Chelsea at home. They're good enough to, to at least draw with Newcastle and beat Chelsea if they do things right. But this week, getting it right, getting to Southampton, scoring maybe a few goals, a good win against well, Southampton that, on Friday night. That could change things, couldn't it? Yeah, because that could change things, Rebecca. They have a good win against the Saints and yeah. get a few goals. Then all of a sudden, yeah. yeah, and then they go into the game with more confidence and... It's going to be an amazing game on that Wednesday night. It really is. A week Wednesday. Yes. Do not miss it. We're going to have it live for you on Peacock. Hi there. I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.